good blessed day to the kings and the queens that is walking this earth in the authority that God has chosen each of you to walk in. I want to remind you today that you are not a regular. You are not a regular person. You are not a regular man. You are not a regular woman. You are not a regular boy. Neither are you a regular girl. I need you to understand something today. You need to understand that you are a king. Yes, you are. And you are a queen. Therefore, you are an ambassador for Jesus Christ. Amen, somebody. Walking this earth in the kingdom authority that God has given you. I wanted to share something real brief with you. That when you listen, uh, to, when who not, not when you listen, but who you listen to, it will determine your life's journey. Who in your life is big? Uh, who you listen to will determine your life's journey. It's not a what. It always boils down to a who. And I want you to evaluate your life today and say, who am I listening to? Am I listening to negative or positive? Because there was a wise man by the name of Dr. Frazier. He said something. He stated that a negative mind, listen to this, a negative mind will never lead to a positive life. A negative mind will never lead to a positive life. See, this is why the word of God reminds us that we must renew the mind and have the mind of Christ. Uh, I want you to understand something. You got to get rid of negativity. Negative folks, negative discussions, negative mindset, uh, negative people, negative decisions. You got to get rid of it because a negative mind, everything that you are living today, it started with your mindset. It started with your thinking. It started with what you thought about. It started because you had this thought that you cannot do things and now you're living in lack. It started with this thought that you're not great enough because you forgot to understand that the Bible says that greater is he that is in me than he that is in this world. You got to understand that the word of God is truth. He said, let every word be true and every, come on, man, a liar. You got to understand the word of God is truth. We cannot just believe men. We have to believe the word of the living God. So you have to have that mindset of positivity. You have to have now the people around you that's also positive. You have to understand that everything that you're looking for on this earth, it's already inside of you to let it manifest through you. You have to understand that you have to be positive. So Dr. Fraser stated, he stated that a negative mind will lead, will never lead to a positive life. And that is the facts of life. He couldn't say it any more simple and more better than that. Uh, so you have to become, uh, I say you have to become uncomfortable in your life to become comfortable. You have to learn to become uncomfortable to become comfortable. We get so comfortable, right? Doing what everybody has been doing. We get so comfortable sounding the way everybody been sounding. We, we get so comfortable dressing the way everybody been dressing. We get so comfortable doing what everybody been doing. We have to get uncomfortable in order for us to become comfortable. And so if you're looking for change, you have to understand that change starts with you. It starts with the renewing of your mind. That's why God's word remind us to renew the mind and have the mind of Christ. I'm here to tell you today, understand who you are first and foremost, because if you don't think that you're a child of God, and if you don't think that you're a queen, if you don't, if you just believe what everybody calls you all your life, because you made mistakes in your life and you believe that lie, you will never be able to walk in the authority that God has for you. So I want to encourage you today. You are a queen. Yes, you are. And you are a king. You have to say those things as if they were. Now you start believing those things as if they were. Now you start walking in that thing as if they were. Now you start understanding and now demonstrating those things 
as if they were. So I want to encourage you today to understand that you are more than a conqueror. You are victorious. You are beautiful. You are wonderfully made. You are who God says that you are. Stop listening to the lies of people. Stop listening to the lies of, of people call themselves your friend, but they're hating on you. Stop listening to the people because you are so successful and you see something that's in your mind that you want to manifest on the earth. And because you see something that you can do that they can't do, stop running and start living. Don't just walk on the earth and just be existing. You have to understand there is more that is inside of you than more that is on the outside of you. I want you to be able to dominate today and understand who you are. Don't follow everybody. Don't follow everything you see. Don't follow everything you hear, but follow what the spirit of God is leading you to do. I'm here to remind you today, you are a king and you are a queen. And if you haven't heard it recently, you are loved more than you will ever know. You can ever think or imagine because God loves you. And you are breathing one more day to get it right. You are breathing one more day to make it right. You are breathing one more day to manifest the right that is in your life. There are so much things that are in you. But you can't be selfish and keep it inside of you. You got to eventually bring it on the outside of you. I want to just share that with you today. And I want you to know that greater is yet to come. You think they don't like you now? Wait and see until you get to the place that you need to be. And now you will have a lot more people talking about it. But you know what you're going to say? To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Because he wants to use you. I'm talking to you today. He wants to use you as a vessel. And he wants to use your mouth. He wants to use your hands. He wants to use everything that he has given you. To bring all glory back to him and to him alone. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Have a great rest of your night. And I'll come back again with another word that will empower your spirit, man, to be what God has chosen you to be. Remember that greater is he that is inside of you than he that is in the world.